Hi, welcome to another thing you know. Exactly 118 years ago, Wright brothers built the very first motorized airplane capable of carrying people and later cargo from one place to the other. This was truly one of the most historic moments for the industry and was the birth of modern aviation. The most early aircrafts had a capacity of not more than 10. But today, an average passenger aircraft has more than 100 seats and a cargo plane can carry tons of payload across the globe. So today, we will learn how these giant aircrafts fly and what makes them stay in the air. And during this process, we will also learn a simple and cool physics concept. So do hit that like button now. For a plane to fly and remain in that state, it needs four forces to stay together and act on it. Two of these are natural forces, while the other two have been created to counterbalance the natural ones. These are gravity, drag, lift, and thrust. Drag is the force that slows a plane down. It is generally by the wind hitting the aircraft from the front and creating resistance in its movement, much like the way you try to walk against the wind. To counter this drag, a plane uses force in the form of jet engines or a propeller and create enough thrust to push it in the direction opposite of the drag and eventually moving the plane forward. Now planes tend to weigh over 200 tons, so the gravitational force on these giant structures is huge and this acts as a force that is always pushing the aircraft downwards. That is why we need lift or an upward force to counter gravity and lift the plane off the ground. This is where the ingenious design of a plane, especially its wings and tail, come into picture. The curved shape of an airplane wing is a big factor to lift a plane up. When air hits the curved shape of the wing, it essentially creates two paths for the air to flow, one at the top and the other one at the bottom. The shape of a wing is such that the air flows at the top of the wing much faster than its bottom. This fast moving air above tends to create low pressure due to the curve in the wing and the pressure at the bottom is much higher. All of this means that with the right shape and thrust, these wings can create such high pressure below the wings that it lifts the entire plane. The opposite of the same is true to stop a plane after landing. The airfoils open up to create even more drag than what the plane is already facing. This combined with low thrust slowly brings the plane to a halt. So at any given point, all these four forces are working together to either lift the plane or just balancing out each other to ensure a smooth flight. The movement of wings are evident during the takeoff and landing and sometimes you might even be able to see the direction of the airflow. So now you know that it's the magic of these forces and some clever physics that helps us travel long distances in only a few hours. If you did like this video, consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching.